I've been on the road trying to run it up. Blowing out my phone, she can't get enough pussy. Got a nigga stuck. Wow. Man, that pussy fire. <laughs> Want me or something? Why do you keep looking in here, bro? God damn. Acting like they see a monkey driving or something. Wait. Hello, hello, and good morning. Y'all, it's so early in the morning right now. Like, it's so early in the morning. And I wake up early in the mornings because I like to be productive and have like a productive day. So it's so early in the morning, and I'm so tired, but I'm gonna work through it. Maybe it's 11 o'clock. Now listen, this might not be early to y'all, but this is so early for me. For the past like two weeks, I've been waking up at 1 p.m. At least 1 p.m. Sometimes 2. Cause I be up at till 4 a.m. doing bullshit. Reading, doing cartwheels. Who fucking knows? But yeah, I just decided to vlog today. I'm back in my consistent, consistency, consistent. To tell y'all what's on the agenda or I just want to let y'all just, just flow with the video. I feel like if I tell y'all what's on the agenda, y'all gonna be like, uh, she doing this, doing that, doing that. Don't give a fuck about none of that shit, so I'm finna just leave. Why would you leave, bro? That's really fucked up and that's disrespectful. Um, anyway, I'm about to go to the store to pick up some medicine for Diamond. Y'all don't know Diamond. She's my cousin. She be on a lot of the videos. Yeah, she's really sick. I was on the phone with her last night. I want to go drop off some stuff to her. And she knows I don't wake up early, so I'm trying my best, bro. Even then, I even set an alarm for her. But yeah, we're gonna drop off some medicine for her. I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a medicine ball. Medicine balls be chef's kiss when you sick i'm telling you but yeah i'm about to just basically vlog today i deep cleaned my whole crib yesterday y'all i'm gonna show y'all real quick well just don't look at the bed just don't look at the bed but my room is like spotless bathroom is clean y'all know i got a lot of products and shit but living room is spotless like oh don't you just love how you just casually looking at a living room then you see a fucking trampoline that's just so so me right who you know got a damn trampoline bro, in the apartment me anyway I already brushed my teeth and did skincare. Now I just need to figure out what the fuck I'm about to throw on. Is This is just for running errands fit. Running errands fit. So I always judge my fit. Every single time I put on a fit, I'm getting comments. And I'm literally on my tiptoes right now so y'all can like see me fully in frame. But every single time I put on a fit, it's always the judge and the judging. Actually, a lot of y'all don't judge y'all cool. But I be getting Instagram DMs about why would you wear that on the vlog? Why would your mama wear that on the vlog? Why would you wear that to school? Funky ass capris. We running errands. This is our running errands fit. Yeah. So what the fuck? I just shaved my leg, so I'm feeling like I want to wear shorts. I think I'm gonna just wear these black shorts, this Chucky sweater, and white socks. Y'all, why someone gonna DM me knock knock? And I love a good knock knock joke, so of course I'm gonna entertain it, right? They like knock knock. I message back. I'm like, who's there? They talking about bitch. I'm like, I know it's a fucking troll. Now I know you troll. So I continued. I'm like, bitch who? They like, bitch, get your ass up on YouTube and post. That's not fucking funny. My thing is when people be loud and wrong. Like, I will be live on TikTok and comments will be like, You haven't posted in five months. I posted yesterday. And I love, I love having that power to be like, You're loud and wrong, dude. Do some research. Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your homework on me. Hey, guys. First of all, this big ass orange bus, tangerine ass bus. Like you wanna be in the shot so bad. Like nobody even, anyway y'all, I'm so tired. So like y'all not feeling my energy up this morning. That's why, because it's so early in the morning. I'm on the way right now to the store to get diamonds and medicine. Then I'm probably gonna head to somewhere to find an outfit today. I don't know if I told y'all already. I probably didn't because I wanted to keep it a secret because I wanted to give a little mystery girl at the library vibe. But I am going to see Daniel Caesar tonight. I bought two tickets originally because I was supposed to go with someone. I am no longer going with that someone. I am going alone now. And it's not like I could just hit up someone else and call them up. I don't know anyone who listens to Daniel Caesar. And the one person I do know is my my friend Brax and he lives in Florida and he already went to go see Daniel Caesar. So, you know, I'm going by myself. Am I wasting a bit of money with the extra ticket? Bro, get in your lane, ass kebab. Anyway, did I waste a bit of money with that extra ticket? Yeah, I did, but that wasn't my fault. I, I thought I was supposed to be going with someone. At first, I wasn't gonna go because you know how like you associate an artist or certain songs with a certain person? Oh, I hate buses. I hate stupid ass buses. Get in your lane, big ass, wide ass bus. Anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't know. There is just a lot of good memories associated with Daniel Caesar's new album around like the time it came out and stuff like that. And those memories are long gone and I don't want to overshare too much. Just know like there's a sharp wound when I listen to Daniel Caesar's new album. I haven't listened to it in a while actually, but I love the album and I just love Daniel Caesar as an artist. And I feel like I should take the opportunity to go. Like I already got the damn tickets. I knew what I was doing when I bought them, didn't I? So we're going to 
tonight by ourselves and hopefully I have a good time hopefully I don't cry and hopefully I'm like mentally prepared to go to this concert <laughs> Early morning Celsius. Wild berry is the flavor. Cheers. Ooh, Celsius make you feel like you off a perk. I don't know if it's just me. It just like feels like electrolytes through your body. Like. Yeah. My, My granny, granny called, she said, Trevi, you work too hard. I'm worried you forget about me. I'm falling in and out of cups. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it, Granny. What happened? Y'all, I'm gonna try a new order. I usually get an iced matcha latte with, with oat milk, brown sugar syrup, and cinnamon shaken in on top. But I'm gonna try a grande iced matcha with oat milk, one pump of brown sugar, and one pump of caramel syrup. You know, like, it'd be real when you gotta practice your order. Thank you. A sigh of relief after you, uh, after you order, dude. And I have Starbucks rewards. I should've used my points low-key, but I'm gonna say those for the days I don't got no money on. No money on. Thank you. I have not tried my drink, so let's go ahead and try it. This is a grande iced matcha latte with oat milk, one pump of brown sugar, one pump of caramel syrup. I like it, I like it a lot. Pull up when she's cleaning my car. <laughs> Bo is getting rid of all the trash out the back seat. When I come no, I back, I can sweep it. I'll sweep the floor. I got a vacuum on. You don't gotta do that. You don't need the vacuum right now, bro. <laughs> Get your cousin that cleans the car for y'all, okay? Love that, love that. Oh, this is my thing, know. though. I'm not driving there. He can pick me up, send me an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> a Lyft, send me the black truck. <laughs> Literally. My thing is this. I don't discriminate because I love all black men. You feel me? But like certain light skin is just know. corny. But if I heard a dark skin man say the same I'm shit. Folding. I'm folding. I'm folding. Like a, folding. Like a fucking chair, bro. Don't let it be a dreadhead now. Don't let it be a dreadhead. I'm folding. I'm folding. Holding, I'm bent yeah. up like a pretzel, bro. I don't know, bro. What's wrong with us, for real? You can't come to the store with you trying on shit. <laughs> We've been here for two minutes. You should get these. Get these. Get them. Look at these. <laughs> Oh, we both pick them up at the same time. That yellow mustard, that that's like a, bro. You will eat. You gonna eat. Please get them. You gonna eat tonight at that concert. <laughs> Get these! I already wear these. I already Get these. wear these. She about to plan a whole outfit. Start vlog. Stuck in my head. <laughs> Y'all sleep, sleep on, on raw. Y'all, Kaya got me. Kaya. Kaya Y'all sleep on raw. Is, she come here for one thing and pick up the whole store. When I say the whole store, I mean the whole store. They do. <laughs> For one outfit, left with the whole damn store, dude. But it's okay because she got fits coming for y'all. Yeah, be ready, be ready. Ooh, I'm on a date, guys. Let's get some gas real quick. take a nap i'm so extremely tired i see the big ass bag of clothes back there we went shopping and then we ate who the fuck is honking like every single time someone honks i always think that they're honking at me and i didn't do nothing so what the fuck damn i'm just a woman i'm just a girl i'm just a 23 year old teenager bro <laughs> honestly y'all that's literally how i'll be feeling like a 23 year old teenager technically 21 is an adult i've only been an adult for three years i'm a three-year-old adult real shit bro but uh i really tired for whatever reason because i didn't really sleep that much and i woke up early you know 11 a.m. but you know it's about to be four o'clock the concert starts at 7 30 so i think i'm gonna leave the house at seven it's like a 30 minute drive only time i go to concert early is when i have general admission tickets so i can try to get like close if i have an assigned seat or an assigned section i don't try to go early because what is the point of trying to go early you have an assigned seat you get what i'm saying why are y'all honking that much dude the traffic not gonna lighten up just because you honking that much god damn you thought you think you better than the rest of us we all gotta wait in traffic what the fuck let me play this song this song has been like it's an old song but like it's been in my head for the past couple of days and I love it. Blinker on 
for 10 million years, bro. Do you know that your blinker is on or not? Fuck face. Come on. Sorry, I had to get out of character, bro. I'm a big fan of sped up songs. I love when TikTok speeds up certain songs. But sometimes it be too sped up. You can't even understand what the fuck they sing. Now, this song in particular, when I go on YouTube and search the sped up versions, some of them be sped up way too fast. And I found this perfect, perfectly sped up, not too fast version of it. And y'all finna get lit with me. Because I know y'all gonna get lit when y'all hear the song. Y'all already turned, bro. I know y'all already getting turned, bro. I ain't even play it. Something? Why do you keep looking in here, bro? Never seen a black girl get lit while she driving? God damn. Acting like they see a monkey driving or something. Wait. Hey, boss, that's Spade. Hercules. We out here for the fiesta. I got some bars. Check it. The block's animal lock like Guantanamo. The Don Donato get guac. Your spot gotta go. Rock solid. I'm hot. You're not honorable. I pop shots. I'll let you talk. You start talking slow. Every record I drops that raw audio. Please, 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 I need y'all help. Well, technically, I don't really need y'all help because by the time y'all see this, the concert is over. But why do I think this outfit is cute? And please tell me that, like, make Kaya you trip and you don't know how to dress. That's cute, but that's not cute with that. That's cute, but that's not cute with this. Like, just tell me. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to fucking dress. This is my first time ever styling a cargo skirt. And I I was initially going to wear a graphic t-shirt before y'all mentioned that. Or, like, a oversized tee because I looked on Pinterest and seen what people wear with long cargo skirts. And I couldn't find one in Ross. And I don't even have any. But why do I oddly think this is cute? Just look at my outfit. Gray, cargo skirt, these shoes. <sighs> Maybe I'm delusional and I just can't dress. But I, like, in the mirror, on camera, it might look fucking trash. But in the mirror, like, this is so fucking cute to me. And I can't figure out if it's like, bro, that's ugly as fuck. Or cute. I can't figure it out. I'm already late to the damn concert. Like, I feel like with the hairstyle, this with the skirt, with the shoes. It just looks so crazy on camera. But, like, I don't know. I want to wear something that I feel confident in. Even if it's a simple-ass outfit. But I also want to be cute. You know, like I want to feel confident in whatever I decide to wear and typically when I want to try out new styles I don't try it out when I'm going somewhere I try it out when I'm just like running errands or something But like when there's a large amount of people, I don't really try it out But I think this is cute, but maybe I'm tripping Maybe if I had like a gray t-shirt instead of a sweatshirt, then maybe it would be cuter But I just like this baggy no, I don't fucking know Y'all probably like, girl, as long as you like it, that's all that matters I don't know y'all, but we gonna figure it out Um, concert was something, alright. 
<laughs> something. I did meet a few of you guys and took some photos, made a TikTok or two, and even one of the security guards knew who I was, which I love. Like, as crazy as it may sound, I love meeting y'all. For one, I just love meeting y'all. But for two, like, if you know me, you know I have bad social anxiety. I've talked about this on my channel before, and it, I just feel like it's exposure therapy. Like, if I'm always cooped up in the house, how am I ever gonna beat and conquer my social anxiety? So, I just love when, like, I'm meeting y'all because it forces me to speak and, you know, not be fucking awkward but anyway this video is called like having fun by myself i'm pretty sure is what i'm gonna name it and baby that was enough for me listen if you know me you know i don't even like leave my house for real so like went to a concert by myself wait what the hell did i even do today i don't even fucking know what i did i'm not gonna lie but i'm about to make some cookies you know i'm feeling a little baker <laughs> You know, you get it, bro. You get it. Shut up. I'm actually, hold on, y'all. I'm actually waiting my door dash to get here. I got Chipotle and I'm gonna eat it with some Flaming Hot Doritos. Yeah, you hoes don't know nothing about that mix. So I'm like, I might as well make some dessert right now because I know I'm gonna want some cookies later. And I've been like having, I think I had these in my cabinet for so long. So like, it's time, bro. I wanted to make these oatmeal chocolate chips. Heat oven as directed, one stick of butter and one egg. Maybe my eggs probably expire. You think if I put the egg, expire egg in there, is it like, the chicken, the chicken expired, so like, girl, shut the fuck up. Anyway, fingers crossed before I check this box. Fingers crossed. Let's see the expiration date. Best if by when? Hold on. September 25th. Alexa, what's today? It's Tuesday, September 26th. I'm eating it. <laughs> it's one day expired. Am I gonna die? I'm just saying. I also don't have a mixing bowl, so this is gonna be tough. Heat oven as directed below. One stick of butter, one egg. I don't have a stick of butter. I have a container of butter, so how is that gonna work? 350 for aluminum pan, 325 for non-stick pan. So I have a non-stick pan, so I'm gonna put it on 325. Let's heat the oven real quick. Let's see if we can get these done before my door dash pull up. <laughs> Why is my tongue out? Yeah. Non-stick pan. And since I still don't have a mixing bowl, guess what we're gonna mix the ingredients in? Shut the fuck up. Wow. I don't understand, like, why do I not have a mixing bowl still? There's so many things that I do not have for my apartment still, and I've been here a year and five months or something. Alexa, how many cups of butter is one stick? One stick of butter is 0 0.5 cups. Half a cup. Why didn't she just say half a cup? She wanted to be a math major so bad. I'm really starving thinking about this Chipotle, I'm not gonna lie. Do I need to melt the butter? It just says a stick of butter. Do I need to melt it? Heat oven as directed below. Stir cookie mix, soften butter. Soften butter, okay, soften butter. I'm glad I read that, y'all. Y'all wasn't gonna tell me. Oh my God, this look like mildew, is it expired? Please, one thing about living alone, bro, I said this on the last vlog, I'm pretty sure, or the one before that. Shit expires so fast, like, bro, it's actually insane how fast shit expires. You don't gotta add no water? Hold on, let me not throw away this paper. Let me dig in the trash room. Heat oven, stir, cookie mix, soften butter, and egg in a medium bowl until dough form. Drop dough two and a half inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet. Okay, so maybe I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing because I'm over here like, do you, don't you need to add water? I feel like it's not a cake. Oh my gosh, that was supposed to be softened. I melted it all the way. Let's just pray, child. Let's just pray. One egg. Again? Please let this come out right, bro. I'm trying to eat tonight. Oh, I'm making a mess. Flirting is making a way. She hit me back as soon as I text. Cutting and making a stretch. Kitchen, I'm making a mess. My brain works like that, bro. You, you say a lyric. I don't care if I'm in danger. I don't care if the house just caught on fire. Someone say fire. I'm going to say, because I ain't about to roll it if I ain't rolling that fire. Someone say, we falling off a cliff. And you like, damn, we going down. We going down. I'm going to say, it's going down. Hey, I'm yelling to me. You better move, hey! You better dance. I'ma say, call 911, call 911. We need help. I'ma say, somebody call 911. Shorty fire burning on the dance floor. Whoa! Don't care, bro. It's just how it works. Alexa, set a timer for 16 minutes. 16 See you when they're ready. Gotta go clean up. Just like y'all should be washing that up. All right, I'm done. I'm done talking about y'all. My bad, my bad. Okay, y'all, so it's time to try the cookies. I really wish I had milk, I'm not gonna lie. Who had milk? Hold on, bro. It might be expired, though. October 11th, yay! We Gucci, we Gucci. Get my Santa mug. 
Cookies have cooled off. It's been like 20. I busted the Chipotle down. It's, it's been like 20. Okay, first of all, these giant ass. I don't know what the fuck these are, bro. Please don't. Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me that they stuck. Don't tell me that they stuck. Oh! Ow! They're crumbling. As soon as I'm trying to. Oh, I thought I did a good job this time. Oh, it's not working. Oh, wow. Thank you. Rock dupe. Well, I got a cookie. It's a little broken up, but you know, it's falling apart. All right. Let's just try a piece, bro. Okay, all right. It only tastes like dookie a little bit. No, no shade though, they actually good, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna sit here and talk about myself. Like, I can sit here and try to crack jokes with y'all and make it seem like they're so nasty, but they're actually good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to fuck this up. I didn't have to do anything besides mix butter in one single egg. Like, dude, come on now. Here, this this is for y'all. I can try it. Do you like it or what? Why would you just spit it out? All right, bye. All right, bye, bro. <laughs> I apologize, bro. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding.